Welcome back to London. I just got in a few minutes ago and then I decided to come here to Cafe Amelian Dor just to get a coffee and a bit of a sandwich there. Seasonal sandwiches are really, really good. If you haven't tried it before, you would certainly love it. And I'm just waiting for them to bring out my coffee, which is taking a little while, so I'm a little bit concerned that they might have forgotten about my coffee, but it's a beautiful day here in London. As you can tell, it is sunny. The cafe is located in Soho, so just such a nice little vibe to sit out here on the terrace and relax. I definitely recommend it for anyone who's just kind of strolling through Soho and wants a little spot to chill. You can see what I'm talking about here. I brought my mini Kelly with me for the little day bag, but it's a beautiful, beautiful day here in London. I'm gonna try to figure out what's happening with my coffee and I'm gonna wrap up my sandwich and then we'll talk again really soon. Bye. We're gonna go to this new sushi place, or at least new to us. It's called Niju. It looks incredible. It's near Sexy Fish, and I absolutely can't wait to show it to you. I totally forgot to film both the room and kind of my outfit before I went out because honestly I had no time but we're in this absolutely gorgeous suite we were really lucky to get upgraded to and I'm really thrilled to share it with you and for the outfit I have this mesh top on underneath my cardigan and then I'm just wearing my seven for all mankind jeans and then I have some little kitten heels on as well as my mini Kelly to complete the look the friend we're gonna go meet tonight is someone who was a colleague or a client I guess and then became a friend because I don't work on his business anymore so it's all you know it's all above the line now so we're just gonna have a bit of like girl time at this sushi place and then maybe go for drinks at the Ritz or Children Firehouse we'll see kind of where the evening ends up but it's been a really nice day I spent a bit of time in the park today the weather was absolutely gorgeous so I was able to borrow a blanket from the hotel grab a bottle of wine and then a friend of mine brought by some absolutely amazing focaccia that they made at home and we just enjoyed a little bit of a focaccia party at the park but before you know it I was absolutely pissed drunk and then you know vicious circle didn't end up filming because I was super super drunk and here we are now so I think we're just a few minutes away from the sushi place and like I said I can't wait to share it with you so stay tuned Hello again, I just got back to the room after <laughs> just spending a lot of really fun quality time out and about. So the restaurant was outstanding. I think you got to see some of the food. It was just so, so good. And now I cannot wait to take a shower and get into bed. And I have a really cute treat to show you that we got from the team here at the Kimpton. So got this really nice card, basically saying that they've provided a special little toiletry set from themselves as a bit of a thank you. So here's the toiletries. They're from Aesop, which I think is really sweet because if you remember the last time I was here, one of the team members was leaving and I got her a set from Aesop as my goodbye gift. And now I'm getting a set from Aesop myself. So it's kind of sweet. So it has just the normal sort of stuff in here. Conditioner, shampoo. There's a toothpaste in here. There's also mouthwash as well as a body cleanser, which is what I'm gonna be using tonight as I shower. I'm just waiting for them to bring up a shaving kit and then some deodorant so that I can use that as a slip in to bed. But I am super thrilled we're in this gorgeous little suite. Obviously it's gonna look a lot cuter in the daylight, but we've got a nice little bathroom to ourselves, including a little clawfoot tub. And then it's pretty spacious. It has this beautiful 
sitting room that you can see with a faux little fireplace. And it is a park view suite, which means we have the windows there that are part of a bit of a balcony that faces the park. So it's a really, really lovely room. I'm so thrilled to be staying here. And yeah, just, oh, that's the, that's the knock. Good morning, welcome back. We're back in the room now, in the sitting room kind of part of the room. And we have our toasty. I had decided to get something different from what I usually get. So today's is egg and spinach. Honestly, I should have just gotten the trusted tomato and cheddar one. And then we have flat white. And I had bought some cakes, like loaf cakes for the front desk team. So I've already dropped that off. And yeah, this is the start to the day. We really don't have that much time. We have a couple of minutes because I need to put my makeup on to get going to work and we need to pack. So we have quite a lot we need to accomplish and we need to actually go there. We have quite a lot we need to accomplish in the next couple of minutes. For me, the best part of these suite rooms is the amazing vanity you get to have alongside it. So I've got my little Louis Vuitton makeup pouch. Just put on oops, something really chill for today's little makeup look. So let's see. I'm just gonna put my hair away while I do this. So we just need to do a bit of a complexion and then otherwise I think we're fine. So we're heading off to a meeting that I have with some clients. It's gonna be kind of like a half day thing. It's from the morning until the afternoon since we're doing a bit of a team lunch as well. It's gonna be a pretty kind of intense outing. It's my first time meeting this client in person. I've been working with one of their partner teams, but not really the main client themselves. So it'll be interesting to get to meet them. That's probably why I should have woken up earlier so I could do my makeup more properly. But hey, decisions were made. I picked waking up and being in a good mood over over just waking up and showing up. Choices were made. So don't fully remember what my return flight time was. I think it was like closer to six o'clock, so I have plenty of time to get to the airport. But I have a bad feeling my teammate has an earlier flight, so I'm gonna have to see if we can wrap up with enough time to get her to the airport. I guess she could leave early and just leave me there. Oh God. I'm not wearing this cardigan, just so you know. I'm gonna switch into a proper shirt. I have a nice little button up that I've packed in a blazer, so it'll be like a real proper outfit. The most important thing for me is just adding a bit of color to my face. And then I'm just gonna chuck everything into my luggage because I don't care. I just need to be there on time. That's it. That is the only requirement right now. And I'm sad that we're leaving this room because this room is just beautiful. I love these rare times when we get to have a suite. And this one is even like a park view suite. It's just such a beautiful room. And I mean, a fantastic night's sleep staying in this room, definitely. And I love getting a turn down service. It's just so, yeah, it's just so lush. I think it's also so reinvigorating to just feel a little pampered, you know? That's my favorite hotel. It always is a nice time. And I just love the neighborhood. You know, the park across the way is such a lovely place to hang out on a sunny day like I did yesterday. So many nice little cafes and pastry shops. I feel like I'm never bored when I'm staying here. Okay. Welcome to the all new Aer Lingus lounge in Heathrow. So this lounge has been under construction for a little while. They were doing a bit of a renovation. It's finally open again and I'm so thrilled because I hated <laughs> the other lounge that we were being sent to in the meantime. So I'm just so happy to be here. I could easily fall asleep. I'm just hanging out in one of the seats here. And obviously I still have my work outfit on. So I wore this really cute striped button down from YSL and just my favorite seven problem and kind jeans. They also now offer food at this lounge, which they didn't before. So I've got a little bit of food here, which I don't even know why I grabbed because I just ate a massive lunch. So I'm not really that hungry. And they were kind enough to bump me to an earlier flight. So rather than flying out at six, I'll be flying out at 
about five o'clock, 4.50. So one flight earlier, which is great for me. Any time that I get to spend at home instead of the airport is a win. This is kind of the end of our London trip. In my opinion, it was a great trip. I had such a good time. It was very action-packed and unfortunately not in a way that translates well for like a vlog because it was like action-packed with client meetings, which is not really something, you know, I would record. <laughs> but I feel like it was very productive. I got a lot out of my time here in London. Some nice food with some, some great clients, some great people. And now it's kind of wrapping up and I'm thrilled to go back to Dublin. And when we get back, I just need to, yeah, like edit, relax a little bit. And the weather is amazing right now. We're having a little bit of a heat wave. So it's like above 20 degrees, which is fantastic and like super sunny. So it's just beautiful. I wish I had the week off to just like hang out in London. There's literally no better time for it than right now. Because London is a really nice city. You just have to get it at the right time and the best time would be when it's sunny but not too warm because if it gets too hot in London it almost feels a bit muggy so this to me is like the ideal kind of mix. I'm just gonna catch my breath here because I just ran off the train to try to see if I could get bumped up on my flight so I'm just gonna try to catch my breath have a bit of water and then I'm gonna head down to the gate because we only have yeah like another about 10 minutes that we can hang out here before it's time to start to head to the gate so I'll chat to you really, really soon. Bye, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So the London trip is now done and dusted and behind us. And there is one final little update I'd love to give you before this video wraps up and we see each other again next week, which is that I did a little bit of shopping when we were in London and I didn't get a chance to capture it all. Let's get right into it. You might be well aware that I already own a very gorgeous pink Chanel flap. I have this gorgeous one. It's a beautiful hot pink with some really gorgeous chrome details. I've talked about it in one of my handbag collection videos. While I was at Chanel, they had gotten a pink flat bag, which I have with me here right now. Here is my gorgeous pink Chanel flap. It is in this beautiful, beautiful caviar leather. I absolutely love caviar. There is no better Chanel leather than their caviar leather. As you can see, the beautiful pink details kind of continue all the way throughout the bag. I think it is so, so beautiful and I'm really excited to get a chance to style this. I'm so thrilled. We have a new little Chanel baby joining us. I would love to get a pink Hermes bag. The only problem is, I'm sure you guys already know what the problem is. It's really hard to get a pink Hermes bag. It's really hard to get it, but on top of that, I don't really have any quota left for the year, so it's not happening for me anytime soon. When this became an option, I just couldn't say no to it. Such a cute little bag. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Please let me know what you think about it. And that's kind of it. I just wanted to show you the new joiner to the family. I wanna keep this video rather short and sweet because I think the last video was a good 55 minutes long. Might as well try to make something less than a half hour this time around. And next time we see each other, I want to talk through my jewelry collection. So I want to go through the luxury part, the non-luxury part, and also chat a little bit about my wish list because I'm hoping to do a little bit of jewelry shopping when I go to Korea and Japan in like three weeks, that trip is coming up so fast. So as always, thank you guys so, so much for spending a bit of your day with me. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I really can't wait to see you again next week. Bye everybody.